Hey everybody, good morning. It's Coach Jessica. And yes, I know that many of you who are here in the group already know me. You've worked with me before. Um, but we have several new people this month and I'm really excited about that. So I wanted to wait till everybody was in to do um, a quick just kickoff video for the month of September. Um, just to share a little bit about this group um, and about me. Um, I am going on seven years of recovery and healing and my journey to freedom from disordered eating. Um, in my past, in my history, I struggled with bulimia for decades, also compulsive eating, emotional eating, anorexia, and binge eating. And so really, um, in terms of eating disorders and disordered behavior, uh, in my life from a very early age, um, the bulimia started at age 11, but before that, um, I still had disordered food behavior. So basically, between the ages of, let's say, 4 and 41, I struggled with all of those types of eating issues. And um, we're going to talk some in the group about what your issues specifically are. Because I found that over time they, they would go in waves, it would morph from one thing into another. And for some of you who have done groups in the past, um, you may need to take a look at how your disorder or your um, eating has morphed and you may need to address it in a different way. Um, so my history is that I had decades of being very, very ill. At the point where I started to heal, I was on 17 pills a day. I was completely disabled. Um, I it, My eating disorder had affected my mental health so much that I was actually just extremely, extremely ill with depression and agoraphobia and all kinds of other issues. And I had migraines and bladder disease and um, I had even gone through electric shock therapy because I had taken meds for so long they didn't work anymore. So I know that's a very extreme um, situation and hopefully your life isn't to that point um, but my point is this if I can get well anybody can get well um, like I said my story is an extreme story and if you want to listen to more details of that to get to know me a little bit better in our featured section I've posted some podcasts that I've been on I need to add more I've had the opportunity to be on over 20 but you can listen to my history and my story of healing and I think it's important for one reason um, so that you can trust me you know that I've been where you are um, wherever you are in your eating struggles, wherever you are in your journey, I have been there. And again, just know that, you know, in an extreme situation, worst case scenario, um, just extremely ill, if I can get better, you can too. I used to think I was the exception. I would hear about other people healing or getting well, and I just thought, but that's everybody else. I'm too far gone. So if you're in a place today where you just say, you know what, I've been the way I am for too long and I'm too far gone, just know that is a lie. It is not the truth. So I know that started off kind of heavy. You know, sometimes I plan to say one thing and then I just feel led to uh, say something else. So um, you just have to kind of go with the flow with me there. Um, but uh, every month always has a theme. Um, so I started, I've been a, a coach almost um, six years and uh, I am a certified nutritionist. Uh, I am certified in um, um, cognitive behavioral therapy for eating disorders. But really what allows me to do what I do is my own history. And at this point now, for the last almost six years, I've worked with people to help them get free from wherever they are um, in their eating issues. So um, I was thinking about it this morning and I've, I think I've done over 60 groups now, I think between 62 and 65 groups um, where I worked with people specifically in a group setting. And of course I've worked with hundreds and hundreds of people um, individually to help them with their eating disorders or um, disordered food behaviors. So. Um, I'm here to tell you, wherever you are in your journey, this month, this month of September, you can make progress now. Um, 
And the theme of this month I've decided is strong September. And there's a couple of reasons I decided on that theme. First of all, people tend to get to September, and I don't know if it's the change of weather or the change of seasons, but they sort of mentally check out. Most people think, you know what, it's September, the year's almost gone. And instead of actually taking the time in September, they go into a slump. Instead of saying, well, I can still accomplish something, there are still four months left in this year. If I make a change today, if I am strong in September, I can be dramatically different by the end of the year. Instead of doing that, most people go into a September slump. So for us, this is strong September. And so the other thing that I know for sure and I've seen repeatedly is this, and, and, and this is true for you, 30 days of a clear focus, you can really change your trajectory for your whole life. It really does only take 30 days. Um, so I want you to really start to think about where you are. Um, again, I know that we have people in this group that have been working on their food issues for two years and they're doing really well. We have people who are brand new to this and maybe this is the first day of your life you've ever really decided you're going to take put forth effort and make a change. Um, maybe you're, you're kind of hopeless and this feels like a last ditch effort. Wherever you are, in 30 days from now, you can be dramatically better. And I know it's hard to hope for that when you're in the middle of it. But I really want you to think about, you know, what your biggest issues are today. I always like to look at it in terms of what is the number one problem to solve right now. And that may be very different from that last month. And you may be like me and feel like, I know I felt like, I, well, I have 30 problems to solve. Or I have 10 really terrible problems to solve. Take the one thing that's affecting your life the most and think about that thing. If you could make progress or you could change that one thought pattern, that one behavior, that one belief, and really just make movement on that one thing in the next 30 days, what would that look like for you? I think in order to make progress, you have to have some sort of vision for what could be. Um, maybe it's a thing you think you can't change, and I'm going to challenge you on that and tell you that you can. So get into your mind right now, you know, what is, what is the one behavior in your life, or what is the one pattern in your life, what is the one thought process in your life that if you put focus around it and put some good steps around it daily, and with the support of this community and my support, what would be the one thing that you would choose to change this month? And I want you to really think about that thing. Um, the next thing I'm going to ask you to do is to introduce yourself. If you have been in this group for a long time, uh, if you are new to the group this month and you're, you know, um, we don't know you at all, I'm going to ask you to do an introduction post. Now, I know this can be really, really tough. I know when I was in my sickness, I, one of the biggest issues that I had was secret, uh, um, just the, the behaviors that we often have, the eating, beha order, eating disorder behaviors that we do, um, they're secretive because uh, we have shame around them. Um, we know that we do things that other people don't do, whether that's binging and purging or starving or using laxatives or eating in private or hiding and eating in your car or all the things that you might do as a person who struggle, struggles with food. It's secretive. And then the secretive side of it actually leads us to just heap heavy, heavy shame on us. And I'm here to tell you this is a safe place to post. There's nothing that you could say that would be shocking to me. There's, you know, I have seen it all and done it all. And there's something very powerful about telling your story. It doesn't just allow people to know you, but it literally lifts the 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 lid of darkness off of your behaviors and it shines a light in there and you know in the presence of light darkness has to flee 
And so, you know, maybe you haven't done this before. Maybe you haven't literally told people about you and your history with food issues. Maybe there are things you've never felt comfortable to say to anyone. You know, I keep this group very small. Um, there's less than, than 20 people. And uh, it's a safe place. And all of us are really, you know, we've struggled with the same thing. So there's so much power in just releasing that. Uh, don't hold anything back. Don't hide anything. Whatever it is that you need to say that would would shed some light on what your issues are, the more honest and open you are, the more you can get help. So I just want to encourage everyone, whether you've been in the group many times or whether this is your first time, really give a, a really good, doesn't have to be long, it can be. Some people choose to do a live video like this, and you can, um, but most people do a post. And just tell your story. Tell us who you are, why you're here in the group, and, and, and maybe what is that one thing that I just talked to you about? Like, what is the one behavior or the one pattern that if you could make progress, if you could be strong in that area this month, maybe it's an area you've never been strong in before, but that's what you need, that your life could start to change. Share that with us so we can support you in getting there. Um, so I want to talk to you a little bit about using the group. Um, like I said, I've done about 62 to 65 groups, and it's sort of morphed over the last year. I used to do a group where people would come in. We, would, we had a very specific agenda. Everybody learned. Everybody you know, helped each other. It's a good community. And then we cleared the group out. We emptied out, and we started over. And um, about a year ago, uh, I start, actually right at a year ago, last September, um, I started doing groups where I realized some of the content, some of the things that were shared needed to stay. Um, I always hated to delete good conversations. I hated to delete, you know, short videos that I had done. I hated to delete things that the next group could use. And I also love um, being sort of fluid with where the group goes according to what the need is of that particular group. Sometimes I'll have a group where more people are struggling with emotional eating. Um, sometimes I'll have a group where more people are struggling with anorexia or bulimia. And I can kind of tailor what we talk about to that group, which is another reason why it is so important for you to share your story so I know how to guide the group. Um, in terms of rules, um, the only rules really are is that we are really kind with one another um, and that there's no judgment. And we've never had an issue with that. Um, and just just be honest. Um, what you can ask me about or what you can post about in the group, um, really anything related to food, your disorder, um, questions that you have about nutrition, all those things are factors here. And anything, any information that I have, anything that I know you have access to, and you'll start to learn more about me as we go. Um, but just know all questions are okay. And if it's something that's very, very, very personal, um, I might say this isn't the right, like the group's not the right place. Or if you have a question about whether it's appropriate, you can send me a message and I'll answer that. Um, I do have clients who do the group plus they do one-on-one -on -one coaching. And some things are just better for one-on-one. -on -one. If it's a situation that's super, super specific to you and it won't be a benefit to the group. Um, so like I said, you can ask about nutrition, um, you can talk about your eating disorder, you can ask you know, any kind of questions that you have, anything that I know you have access to. Um, what I suggest is that you come to the group every single day. Um, we'll talk about that more after our first live call, but um, the power in doing a group is connection. Um, you know, I don't know if you've ever heard your food issues called addiction, but it truly is. Anything that enslaves us, anything that we try to change and we just can't, it really is an addiction. Anything that willpower doesn't really apply to is an addiction. So the power in a group is that connection is the opposite of addiction. If you are not connected, if you're disconnected, you're likely to be in your addiction. If you are connected, it gives you power 
because it is the opposite of addiction. And so the more connected you are, the more you comment on other people's, you know, it, um, uh, other people's introduction posts, you're going to find that people are so much like you. Um, so often people will tell their stories and others will say, oh my gosh, this is my story too. And, and the braver you are, the more transparent you are, the more vulnerable you are, the more likely someone is to connect with you and be able to encourage you. And then you turn around and encourage them. So the connection that happens in the group is very, very important. Um, we do a live, we do four live videos. They're an hour long. Um, we do a meeting and it's via Zoom. If you go to the announcement section, I'm sorry, they call it the featured section now at the top of the page, you will see there is a link. It's the same link for Zoom. Typically, they are on Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern. I think there's going to be one exception to that this month. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and list out all the dates for our live Zoom calls. There's going to be one that's at a different um, time because uh, I have a conflict at that time. But um, typically, our calls are at 7 Eastern. Uh, if you can't be present for that call, uh, it is recorded. And in fact, the last four calls, the last four Zoom meetings are always right here in the group. Um, you could today, if you would like to get inspired and, and really just get started, you could do a couple of things. You can go into the featured section and you can look at um, photos because I actually make some nutrition suggestions. Um, you uh, can look at any of the sh past videos that I've posted, short videos like this one, um, to get information, inspiration, get inspired. And if you scroll through the group, you can actually go back and watch the last four Zoom calls. So you could go back and watch all the August Zoom calls at this point, and that would get you started. Um, even if you just have it playing and you're listening in the background, because there's nothing much to watch other than there's me sitting here talking, which is not that exciting, but you can listen to it and get inspired. So that was one of the benefits of just keeping an ongoing group. And again, some people come in for a month. Um, some people um, stay month to month. Um, some people come in as they need it. They'll come and uh, be with us for a month and then they will leave for a couple months and they come back for a month. So I love that it's an ongoing group. All of you are signed up for this month and then you can decide what you want to do after this month, whether you've got what you need or whether um, you'd like to come back for another month and stay connected to this community. So. Um, you have access to what we've covered in the past, which is very, very cool. There's some good stuff in there. So as you have questions, um, as you, you know, happen to be listening to something, tag me. Um, sometimes somebody else in the group will get to your question before I do. Um, and you're more than welcome to answer each other's questions too. That's one another good thing I love about this group. Everybody's in different places in their recovery. Like I said, I'm going on seven years. We have people that are, are in recovery for two years. Um, we have people that are just starting. This is brand new for you. And um, it helps us all um, to, when you participate, we can help each other. So don't hold back. Um, today, your job is to introduce yourself, be as vulnerable as you possibly can, allow yourself just to put it out there. Um, let yourself be helped and get a vision in mind for being strong this September. What area can you work on? What one thing, what one thought pattern, one behavior pattern, one belief? What's the one thing that if you work on this month is really going to send you on a whole different path for the whole rest of the year? And, and, and as far as I'm concerned, four months is a really long time. There's plenty of time for you to end this year in an entirely different way than you started it. This year is not over. It is not time to go into a slump. It's time to finish strong. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. Looking forward to our first Zoom call on Sunday at um, 7 p.m. Eastern. And I will post a reminder and re, you know copy that link and everything. But again, if you want to scroll through and watch those old Zooms, I highly, highly recommend that. Even if you were in this group last month, go back and watch them. Um, August was back to basics. 
um, which I thought was really good. A lot of you had great progress. The other thing you find if you scroll back, if you're new to the group, is um, you know typically at the beginning of the month, end of the month, um, people like to give progress updates on where we are. And we had some people that just had beautiful, amazing progress last month, and it may inspire you to see and hear that. So looking forward to a wonderful September. I believe amazing things are going to happen. The group, we're calling it Strong September in my own life personally. What I have where I have my own goals written is Supernatural September. I believe that. I really truly do. Supernatural things are happening in September. And um, But for this group, uh, Strong September. This can be a strong start to the rest of this year and it can change your life. So I'm looking forward to working with all of you and reading about you and getting to know you and just really helping you solve the biggest problem that you have and set you on the path to freedom. The goal is freedom. So I will talk to you guys soon and thanks for listening this morning. Have a good day.